Hi, this is Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. And today I'm with uh, Tom Jenkins of Mold Solutions. And Tom's come stop by and go talk to us about a little bit about his business, um, what he does, what processes he uses, uh, maybe some maybe something you've weird or, or interesting you've ran into in, in the last last year or so. Sure. All right. Yep. So well, I've been in business for about um, 18 years now, um, certified, insured, and um, I use ozone gas. Okay. And uh, I have for the last 18 years. That's the most powerful sterilant on the planet. Hospitals are using it. Uh, it kills not only mold, but all bacteria. So they use it not only to kill mold, but to kill MRSA as well. Um, it gets rid of odors real well, but it kills mold very effectively as well. Um, so it, it gets it down in crawl spaces up in attics and, um, and odors. It does dog urine, cat urine, smoke odors, uh, just about any type of odor. Um, it does come with a one year from date of service warranty. Mm -hmm. And um, I think about 50% of what I do is 50% is, um, of what I do is killing the mold and 50% is educating people because mm -hmm. there's a, frankly, there's a lot of solutions out there that just don't address the problem, but they're, they're very expensive. Yeah. And so we'll look at the crawl space and a lot of times when they want to put in a, you know, there's nothing wrong with tile drainage systems and, um, but they'll want to talk about encapsulating and drainage systems, treating it from the inside out instead of the outside in. And generally, when you treat, uh, I, I have a couple of, my, my dad's an engineer, and, and I have a friend who's in the business who's an engineer. And so we talk about this, and we're always talking about treating from the outside in instead of the inside out. And uh, because if you've got water coming, if it's a grating or a gutter issue, which it mm -hmm. is most of the time. Mm -hmm. I see a lot. Yeah, yeah. You, you see it, yeah. and, and it will just run down the wall and uh, into the, the crawl space. And like we talked about earlier, yeah. you'll see it pooling, uh, water pooling in the crawl space. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you're kind of surprised when you look in there, and, and, and there's uh, you see water all across the surface. And So generally, when you fix the grating and the gutters, that, that's a cheap fix compared to a tile drainage system. So mm -hmm. I guess one of the kind of... A, a, Kind of a funny term I, I I came up with was I'm a I'm a a mold remediator not a deal remediator okay um, because uh, a lot of time I, some of the feedback I've gotten from other agents um, I know one of them had a biology degree one mm -hmm. of the agents I dealt with and she said you're disarming to a situation yeah because when I get done talking to somebody and educating them. I think I have a heart of a teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, it takes the air out of a situation yeah. a lot of the time. And, it, and, and we've talked about this before, that buying a home, right? that's probably one of the biggest purchases you'll ever make in your it life. It really is. And you've got a lot of money on the line. You've got a lot of money on the line. You know? So you want to make sure that you're, yes. what you're buying, yes. you're going to be happy with, it's not going to cause you a problem. Yeah, and, and you want to take those fears away before you get into it. Yeah. You were talking about um, mold and Crawl sure. space. Yes. So, do you pump the ozone into the crawl space? Yes, I'm doing one right now. As okay. We speak. Uh, so, yeah. So, what we do is we seal up the crawl space and we we pump it into the crawl space. But that's the other thing. A lot of uh, the companies, I, I don't think they all treat the living space as well as the crawl space. But whatever's in your crawl space is in your living space as well. Okay. It gets sucked into the HVAC system through the by the supplies and the returns, and and it just keeps circulating. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't kill that, uh, you can kill it in the crawl space, but you have done a lot of good for the living space. So um, there's no extra charge for that. It's just included, but it's the right thing to do. You mm -hmm. treat it upstairs uh, in the living space on all stories. And this one, I just happen to be treating the crawl space, the living space, and the attic. Okay. So, okay. yeah, it all gets done. Um, price? What would well, you base I, it on square footage of the that's, home? Or? That's a good question. Uh, I've been doing it for a while, and the prices I've seen out there range anywhere from $2,500 on the low end up into the $35,000 range. Wow. And, and some of those, that's why I educate uh, and then let the let the client make the decision. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of those things that are very expensive, they, they trade it from the inside out or they're just not the right solution at all. Mm -hmm. um, but I consider... One, once you're educated and once you know what the problem is, first of all, whatever's causing the, the source of the, the water 
or the uh, the leak or, or the moisture. That's what feeds mold, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Then once that's gotten rid of, then you can kill it. And then how do you keep it away? You wanna, you wanna educate your client on, you know, if you've got a basement, run a dehumidifier. Mm -hmm. But once you've gotten rid of the leak, that's a big part of it. Now keep it nice, dry environment. And so I, I see my price, I see, I consider a fair price to be about half of what I see on the minimum side. So, okay. so in this area, it ranges from eleven hundred ninety-five dollars to um, fourteen hundred ninety-five dollars, and that comes with a one-year from. By the way, one year from date of service warranty. It just says that if the problem comes back, that I come back and treat it at no charge, and that's transferable to the buyer, and and they like to see that. Yeah. I get calls all the time that say, hey, we're closing next week, and the, the inspector found uh, mold in the crawl space, mm -hmm. and it can't close unless they get it taken care of. And normally, how long does it, how long does it take from the time you get a phone call to going out and doing it? Gen like this week, I would like, I'm running about a, a week uh, behind. So, But generally, if somebody calls me, I get out there the same day. Okay. Take a look. Yeah. And then give them an estimate. And yeah, I'll, get, I'll give them a go from there. Yeah, and really yeah. kind of tell them what they what what the problem might be, and it could be like we talked about earlier. It could be an odor situation, mm -hmm. like pet odors, cat urine, dog urine, smoke sure. odors, that type of thing, and that can be just as problematic as a, a mold uh, situation. Usually, one one treatment takes care of it, uh, or or does it take multiple? Does it just depend on what? No. situation is or yeah good question for, for the mold it's is generally it's uh, one treatment but for the odors it can be multiple treatments depending on how bad the odor is I mean you asked me about weird situations where mm -hmm. there was one that was a combination of I guess animal urine and and human urine there was an older per elderly person I think we might have talked about that last time but you know that living in the house so they, they had gutted it but they couldn't get rid of the odors so mm -hmm. It took uh, it took a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Because I think sometimes it soaks into the, right. the uh, it does subfloor. It does. Yeah, yeah. and they had to cut actually some of the subfloor out. Oh wow! So yeah, it was Just to get rid of uh, to get rid of the smell. Yeah, yeah. All so right. sometimes you have to go to extreme measures. Yeah. Tommy, you want to give them your number? Yeah, I'd like to. Thank you. Yeah. It's um, actually five zero two 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 four two zero. Seven three, and I'll say it again. I'm okay. be kind of fast. It's five zero two 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 four two zero seven three, and I don't charge anything to do an estimate, so anybody can feel free to call me, and uh, if you want a first or a second opinion. Okay. All right. Well, folks, I hope this will help you with uh, any questions you might have about uh, odors or uh, smoke, uh, that sort of thing, uh, and this. Tom would be great, I'm sure, to talk with and, and come out and give you an estimate. Um, so, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.